Hello, hello. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Too legit sitting on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Too legit city here. Today we're playing some of that. Oxygen not included. Getting back into the flipped Mamba asteroids. Y'all know what it is. Max difficulty. And of course, hope everyone's doing good today. Hope everyone's having a good old Tuesday. It's Leo Far. What's going on, man? I see you over there. Let's get back into the flipped asteroid. How you doing, Leo Far? Hope all is good in your part of the world. Now, ran all right. Protopoly, what's good? How you whiz, man? We are rolling. We are rolling. All right, so I think we're fine for now. We just got our permanent food storage set up. Ah, enjoying your remaining days before school starts. I feel that, man. Got to take care of business. That's what happens, man. When you when you live where you live, Protopoly. It's gonna be hot. I think we need to relocate where the pipe spills out from. I think that's going to be something we're going to want to do. Currently I'm making a arbitrary economy calculator. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I guess we could melt this chunk of ice first. We're going to relocate the uh, metal refinery so that we can melt the rest of the biome. Because I do want to tap into the space. And then vacuum is safe. We could tap into space soon. That's going to be pretty nice. And I think what we should do is start trying to tap into this uh, magma mass. He's in the Philippines. The islands, man. Tropical islands. That's one thing I can't really uh, do about going to the Philippines. It's freaking hot. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cold weather guy, man. Oh, we don't have oxygen coming out here anymore. I got to cut this line. I, that means I probably need to get another line out, huh? Yeah, we're going to remove some of the pipelines. So that we could start cleaning up uh, the pipeline spaghetti. Should be okay. Get rid of some of that. And then we'll start moving some more oxygen out. I think that's going to be necessary. Number of tree can show how many buildings or critters can be supported. The hard part is interacting with both different buildings and critters. Oh, I see Iliofar. Uh, so you're making that on like what? An Excel worksheet? That, some, that doesn't sound like something you would do in game. That sounds like something you would try to set up like on a spreadsheet. What's up Snow? 1990? I see you over there. What up Legit? How are you today? If you're a deltoid, hope you're doing well too. Yeah, you're doing it on Excel. I knew it. I was like, that only really works if you're doing it on Excel. Otherwise, I don't know if there's really any anything you do with that. I see you over there. Mama's napping. And all right, so we're going to be trying to set up the metal refinery to melt out this biome. Some more ice, get some more water. We're going to be emptying out some of the magma from here back into the storage. And then we're going to clean up some of the pipeline spaghetti and get some more oxygen out. 
while we do that, we'll probably want to do some more research, just because we can. Is there anything I want to grab right now? I think in terms of rocketry, it's already set up. We're doing this right now, the marble arts, but I don't think we need anything else. Maybe grab the Axur gate. Stable game now. What I mean by that is uh, you can see no stress, and we're going to be able to have uh, calories. So we have a good amount of oxygen because it's coming from the cool steam vent. Oh, and it's too hot. That means I'm not getting that much water anymore. Feels bad. I need to up the cooling potential of this building. I need to do more over here. And then, uh, since we have oxygen, we're also going to be uh, pretty stable. We have showers, no stress. We have a uh, geyser that generates the fertilizer for our plants. We're doing pretty good. So I think we're technically stable in that aspect where, you know, everything's going to be good. Liquid storage of magma. Yeah, that's what you see right here. 1.6 million kilograms. We're going to continue storing some more. Showers are good for reducing stress. No. Showers give you three morale. That's, that's, that's basically what it is. It's not that showers are good for reducing stress. It's more so that showers just give you more morale. And they shower every day if you give them bath time. Not only that, because I make them shower every day, I make the room where the shower's at a nature reserve. So I give them additional six morale. So that's nine morale. Did you open your magma storage last stream? I did. Uh, that's not going to be on the YouTube, <laughs> but I did it at the end of the stream. But I did do that, yes. It was, it was pretty anticlimactic. It didn't really do much. In a nutshell, the magma fell, it took too long to melt anything, and it just expanded upward and refilled in this room. Feels bad, man. <laughs> the magma is, is magma, but it doesn't really do that much damage. Alright, so there's another thing I wanted to do was set up the automation a little bit. Like that, like that, and I need this. Ooh. How many hatches do we have? Four? Alright, so we gotta wait for some more to hatch. That's fine. And then the kitchen got removed. Nice. And then the water sieve here got removed. Oh yeah, because I removed the showers. Okay, so that means I don't need the power lines anymore. Not bad. Reducing the uh, power consumption off of that line is probably going to be pretty good. I gotta clean this room up though. Oh yeah, and do we have allow manual use? Okay, so we haven't set up this properly yet. Okay, so we don't have... Okay, we're technically waiting for this to rot. And I want this to rot because... Well, I could just seal it up, technically. Right? So that we could just have these things rot because I don't want to use it anymore. I guess we could sweep some of the uh, sleet wheat. I do want to do this though. I just want the food to rot. And I don't want to have access to it. Oh, that reminds me. I fucked up my Dreco farm. We got to fix this. All right, so we'll probably just pump it out to here. Now 
There we go. So we'll pump everything out. I do want to filter it. I do have power, so it should be fine, right? So we can do it like that. Cancel the power or the pipeline. Have the filtered output. Ooh, that's funny. How that works is kind of jank. Okay, so let me redo that. Let's do it like this. We want that. And then the filtered output. Now it looks weird, but uh, that's gonna be because we're trying to remove the polluted oxygen. So the two gases we wanna keep, and we're just gonna remove the PO2. Should be fine. We need to do this because my meal line started to rot. And I need to take out my polluted dirt. Uh, I have a lot of polluted dirt though, right? Yeah, we have 16 tons. Okay, so I need to make a special sweep for that. That should be fine. We'll just put it right outside. All right. Our natural gas should be okay. Decent amount stored. I would want some more though. And we are awaiting rad bolts. All right, we'll turn this on for now. And this is ready. Nice. And then... We're low on iron. But I need it to make steel. So we'll just make copper for now, since we have a lot of it. Slowly melt out the ice, and so that we don't overheat the water. The ice melting in is just going to add more thermal energy, so it's going to be pretty sweet. Alright, so that's sealed up. So I should start allowing them to pick up normal food. Bristol berries, uh, frost buns should not be stored inside. Yeah, that's a proper rail setup. No meal lice meat, though, will allow that. And spindly grub fruit, I guess. Hopefully, it's not rotting. Oh, I can't click on this. Feels bad. I need to hope nothing there is about to rot, man. That's the, the scariest thing about the transition. Is your food deep freeze? It will be. Eventually. Like in the bottom, you can see we have some deep freeze barbecue. But it takes time for it to cool down. So if it's too close <laughs> to zero, I'm a little bit worried about it. So nothing here is raw goods, so I don't think I need to actually take it. And then there's these two. Uh, let me look that up really quick. We have no pincha. And then we need sleep wheat. Oops. Oops. We have some there. That's not sleep wheat. Okay, if that's it, I'm okay with uh, allowing it. And also pinch pepper nuts once we start getting that. So the barbecue should be automatic. I don't want to pick meal lice yet. Because some of the meal lice is uh, out and about. Okay, now this is ready. So sweep only, organic, and we're going to use polluted dirt. Uh, pea dirt. We have some rotted dirt we need to take out. It'd be like that sometimes. Oh, this needs power as well. And then we're going to pull out the polluted oxygen. And then once we're ready, we just empty back out the gases. Should be fine. Whoa, CO2 polluted oxygen in here? This is the weirdest setup. What the hell? Y'all see this? 
What the hell's going on, dude? Polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide. <gasps> no, we're getting we're getting rot in here. Is that possible? How did I get polluted oxygen in here? The only way that's happened is if there's meat that didn't actually get deep freeze. Oh, that's gross. Ah, oh, man, I have to fix this one as well. Yo, man, they don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. All right, all right. Is that polluted dirt? Yep, there it is. So it looks like a critter died, and they couldn't actually get there in time. Oh, man, that sucks. We're doing some cleanup, boys. It is what it is. We got to do some cleanup. This is why I don't deep freeze food. No, man. You got to deep freeze food. If I did it earlier, I wouldn't have had the problem. So before I was using fridges. And, uh... Yeah, they didn't, they didn't get everything in time. Feels bad. If I only had the deep freeze earlier. So this doesn't need anything yet. That's cool. We are doing that. All right, speed this up. All right, this part's going to be interesting. I deep freeze my food. Why hydrogen pipe? Wait, what? You deep freeze it with hydrogen? That's fine. That works. That works. Uglarvis, what's good? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're having a good days. Hope you're having a good Tuesdays. So far, so good. Is deep freeze only necessary until berry sludge? If you're going for berry sludge as a main source of food, uh you could technically try to go there directly but you still need to store the raw ingredients technically so sleet wheat and the raw bristle berry will still need to be stored so technically you could still need it because you need to uh you know you might produce more than you need just because it's a lot of times better that way so you have extra food for space missions so if you're if you don't have enough cooks and they can't keep up with the production, you're gonna have to store the food. And then it probably comes down to if you have the mod to select the uh, lower percentage food. So if you have food that's about to spoil, uh, there's a mod I believe that allows you to choose that food first for eating and cooking, so that it doesn't rot. But if you don't have that, it might not work that way. So that being said, you still technically need it. I need to get rid of the pea dirt and pea oxygen. And I believe, yeah, the oxygen is going to be struggling. Did we get this set up? Kind of. Okay, so... This is mad hot, and this is almost immediately going to uh, bop my water. I'm a little bit worried. Can I replace this immediately? Who keeps starving, man? It's not like we don't have food. We have food. I feel like, are we not keeping up with the food production? I feel like we're not keeping up with the food production. We are not keeping up with the food production. Do I need to get a second cook? 
Just stop starving. I know, right? We have one designated cook that's also a builder. We have another guy that was cooking earlier that's doing farming. All right, we need two cooks. This guy's actually starving. Food type not permitted. I mean, if you really want Scarlet Man, we could allow you to eat the meal lice off of the ground. He's going to do it. Oh, that's gross. He's going to eat that off of the ground. What a mad lad. All right, looks like we need two cooks in order to keep with the calories. Dude, yeah, we really do need two cooks. Like, my god. We are burning through the food. More unpermitted food types. We got some hungry people. Okay, so getting the two girls was necessary. We have a second person that will start cooking. Maybe when they wake up. What a struggle though. Alright, so the next thing we need to worry about is oxygen production. We stopped using the electrolyzer in this room for the extra oxygen, even though it helps. And uh, we need to start using a secondary oxygen line to help us out with the uh, O2 production. I believe it's going to be somewhat necessary, so we'll try to set this up right now. There we go. Keep starving, man. What the heck? Cthulhu, I hope you're doing well. I saw your base. This guy's always setting up a base for his uh, colonists. Sometimes, man, you just gotta tough it out. Make him sleep on the floor, dude. Just saying. No longer pumping out that oxygen line. Doesn't that mean this is no longer necessary? Since we're not going to be pumping out the oxygen? That's true. Same with the liquid pump. We might as well get it out, right? I like to keep them happy. I see you over there, man. I see you over there. Oh, I hate how there's hydrogen down there. What the heck? That makes, like, no sense. There we go. Great haul. We're doing fine. We are doing the research. Can't be mad. Alright, let's turn off that one. This one's already doing pretty good. And they keep starving, dude. I can starve. Wait, me and Maul supposed to help cook. Why aren't you helping? Oh, you're going to eat. Oh, my duplicates are... Oh, what the heck? They're all attackers. <laughs> They're all attackers, man. What the hell's going on? Did I do that? Did I make them all attack the critters? Did we really need food that badly? Oh, I gotta do this again. That's fine. That should be fine, and I think everything else should be okay to be selected.
All right, all right. We gotta wait for that to rot. I don't wanna pump this out yet. We'll do that soon. And I wanna do this part. I'm a little bit worried because I need to replace this with a mechanized airlock. Automation should go like this. And then we cut that line. And then I need... They don't allow me to actually preemptively set that up. So I need a deconstruct. Alright, so priorities. What does Meemaw do? She does building. She has to be a priority cook because she has no running skill. Okay. Yep, Meemaw starving. Feels bad. Every time. We're starting to get plastic though. Start to be able to get some plastic ladder soon. That's off, that's fine. I wanted to say we reached stability, but I really don't know. And guys, I'm going to apologize preemptively. I am not feeling good at all right now. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you guys could tell, man. I am feeling... I feel like I'm about to get sick or something. Man, I had a Tylenol already because I woke up with a headache. And I'm kind of feeling out of it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We will see. Come on, man. What's taking so long? My water over here is already four and something degrees. All right, there we go. So we want to close this first, and then we close that, and then we open this, and we have a vacuum. Nice. All oh, your kids are sick, man. Feels bad. Hopefully, uh, you know they're gonna be okay. Dude, we have three people now. Dude, what in the heck? Does Meemaw not have grill skill? Oh, Meemaw does not have grill skill. That's why. That's why she couldn't cook. Oh my god. That's why. Oh, that one guy cooking wasn't enough. Our clash. Stamina is fine. Man, I took a Tylenol. The headache still feels like it's coming through, man. The pain is real. And it, it's, it's, I'm feeling hot and cold at the same time. I'm sweating, but I got chills. But it, it's hot out. It does not feel like a good time. I might, it feels like I might even wrap stream up early, even though I'm not going to be here for the next couple days. Uh, what a way to, uh, it's been a horrible weekend and a horrible week, man. Not gonna lie. I don't have a th uh, thermometer. <laughs> I have a COVID test kit, though. I should probably check. We might as well use those. All right. We're going to allow people to eat meal lice again. It's back on the menu. But hopefully with the two cooks, we'll be able to produce enough food. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I feel that, man. I feel bad, though. I know there's a lot of people that, you know, that like the Oni streams. I want to keep it up for you guys. And it's also, I enjoy playing Oni, dude. <laughs> So it's like I look forward to the time streaming Oni. It's 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 a good time. You guys are great. And it's it's usually because you guys are here, we get to hang out. It feels, you know, you look forward to it.
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hydrating. I'm drinking a lot of tea right now. I had coffee in the morning. I do not feel the caffeine at all. And it's weird. I just ate, but I feel hungry. Well, I'm not hungry. It feels like my stomach's empty. You guys ever have that feeling when you where you don't eat and you're running on empty? That's how I feel right now. It feels like I have an empty stomach. But we'll go for a little while at least. If it gets better, I hope it does. If it doesn't, we'll probably wrap it up a little bit early today. But I apologize, you guys. Sorry about it. You don't want to see these kind of things happen as a streamer, you know? Alright, the next thing we're going to grab is the transit tubes. Okay, so... I need oxygen. So we're going to change up how we're going to do a little bit of the O2 line right here. So we're going to... Do we have steel? We do. 4,000. Okay. So we are going to open up this door. We're going to deconstruct that. And then we're going to move this to the right. And then we're going to deconstruct this one. And then we're going to have two pumps here. We're getting an extra pump. I'm always satisfied knowing my streamers take care of themselves, even if it means less content. Yo, man, it feels bad. Less content is a feels bad man moment, though. But yeah, you're right. We got to take care of ourselves anytime we can. Dude, why is it taking so long to deconstruct gas pump? Make that out of steel. Have that come out like this. The Atmo sensor has to move. We'll probably have it to this tile. Automation needs to go up. We also need to have that. And this. So that means the Atmo sensor has to go. Hey everyone, what's going on, Ronaldo? Uh, Ronaldo Green, how are you? All right, hopefully that makes it easier. And then we will have the copper set up like that. And then this is all construction, max priority. And then I think most likely what happens here is we we reconnect everything. So this goes here, that goes here. And then this becomes a solo pipe. Yep. Hey, meeting you from Jamaica. Welcome, man. Doing uh, physically. Alrighty. Nice, nice. Good to hear. Razor Smash. What's good? I see you guys over there. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesdays today. Howdy, howdy. Hope you guys are doing all right. Oh, what the hell? My... My liquid. Oh, what the hell's going on? This broke. Okay. I don't know why that broke, but this broke. I used to have two stacked liquids here. Game looks amazing. Let me know if you have any questions, man. I'll do my best to help out. We're finally positive on the calories. What's going on, Pegasus? How are you? Just got home, about to start my uh, working through my to-do list for Oni now that my spawn is up and running. Nice. The spawn is, is, is the first major point that stops a lot of players from progressing. Getting that spawn up is uh, oxygen. Do you play City Skylines? I do. 
I'll do that on Mondays and Fridays. This looks new. Uh, it's a different game. I play uh, Oni and Cities as my two main games right now. Oh, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, you do. Exclamation point YouTube. But it's only for this game. Oxygen not included. I don't have a lot of other content on there. I do have a little bit of Skylines content, but it's not a lot. Just a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of brine in here because we need to have a stack liquid. How come no one's uh, building this? My water's getting mad hot. I do not have TikTok. Oh, I don't have my uh, power line on this. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I got a max priority that set up. All right. And we should be good. So I wasn't generating oxygen for a minute. We should be okay now. And then the next thing we need to do is make a new O2 line. So this is going to be a line that comes in from the back, and hmm, we don't have any extra oxygen, but this is uh, not too bad. So we'll have it like this. So that's a hydrogen line, so I guess we just get rid of this O2 line that we shouldn't have for a minute. And then we'll have that be the line here. And we also have this come down. We could have that be an opening. That's not too bad. Two openings before filling out. Dude, my oxygen is starting to run thin. Yo, man, I thought we were stable. Soon, guys. Soon, TM will be stable. Soon, TM. Alright, so everything here is rotted now, right? That means I don't have to worry about that anymore. Everything here is proper. And then what I need to worry about is meal lice. All right, we're going to make a fake fridge right outside so that we could always have the meal lice right there. And we'll just put a ration box. <laughs> Should be fine. Should be fine. Did we add the brine? No, we did not. Oh, we don't have any brine uh, in bottle form. Oh, it's auto bottle only. That's fine. We could use the auto bottle then. Actually, let me use another liquid. I don't want to use polluted water. Oh, all my other water is gone. All right, we're going to have to auto bottle. Feels bad. I have to make, pay attention to that before I mess up. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is make sure we get rid of the meal lice so that it stops making polluted oxygen in there. 
they should be automatically bringing back the meat, so I should be okay. There's gonna be my bottle delivery. Oh, it's doing the crushing mechanic. Oh, that sucks. All right, so first things first, we gotta mop up the water first. If you don't know what's happening, there's something called a water crush setup where you could spill out water on the bottom up here and nothing appears. It's a weird mechanic that happens when you have certain stack layers and how liquid density works. I don't want to get into it, it's kind of complicated. But it's a mechanic, so we got to mop that up first, put the brine and then put the water in afterwards. Alright, so we're working on the pipeline back here. This comes out, we need a bridge. All right, all right. Solrak, hi, I've been watching the series on YouTube. I have a question. How are you feeding the grub grubs or do you don't feed them? I have them wild. So if I click on the grub grubs, they are wild. Wild critters do not need to be fed. Wild critters do not need to be fed. So what I did was I just have all of my Sweetles all in islands and then I take the Grub Grubs like over here. We're going to wrangle them. And then we're going to move them into this room that drops them into this room. But yes, you're exactly right. So Rack, that question is you could have tame critters. Tame critters are going to require food like the hatches over here. They're tame. Now the the benefit of having a tame critter is that they reproduce faster because they're happy. You can see that 2% becomes a 17%. Uh, now, the difference between tame and wild is that tame critters have to eat something. So we have a feeder box for them. But uh, if you're not trying to increase the number of critters, so you're not trying to make it so that you have a lot of them, and you just want to maintain the same amount, you can always just wild ranch them. Oh, and he falls. So wild ranching them like this allows you to get the rub bonus that you're typically after. The grub grub rub. And then, uh, yeah, that's all we need. So a lot of the times, these critters, uh, the Sweetles or the grub grubs, you want to keep them wild. And as many as you can keep, you want to take them out as uh, fast as possible. That way, you could start getting that fertilizer bonus a little bit sooner. 5% or 50% is pretty nice. We still didn't mop that, huh? Feels bad. And then the pipeline's actually complete. Alright, so we need to cut this up. That's here. Everything else is fine. This goes here, here. So now that we have two suits, uh, the back line is going to be separated. We'll do back four. I see. I've never used the grub grub crushing. See, that was accidental. Good to You can't blame that on me. I've never used the grub grub. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the grub grubs are really nice. They're really good like that. Grub Grubs are one of the top critters, I'm a. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best. I'm not feeling too great right now. I'm actually feeling like I'm getting, I'm getting sick. And I might wrap up stream early because of that. But if you guys got any questions, ask away. I'll be happy to help. I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to this game. But I'm not feeling hot today. So I apologize, guys, if I don't seem too energetic or anything like that. Alright, the vacuum is not broken yet. 
and we need to cause a magma spill. Well, I want to cause a magma spill. Just happy to catch some stream live, yo man. Still though, I, I just know that some of the people that, you know, want to watch the Onis, having it cut short feels bad, you know. But you know, as they say, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a tough time sometimes. Oh yeah, I'm also, um, those of you guys didn't know, the updated schedule, I will be not streaming on tomorrow, tomorrow's my off day, and then on Thursday, we're not going to be streaming as well. Uh, I will make up the Thursday stream day on Saturday. So we're going to be doing a little bit of Oni on Saturday. Hopefully that's going to be all right. So it'll be off tomorrow, off Thursday, Cities Friday, and then Oni on Saturday. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. Research is done. Nice. But yeah, a little bit of a change in schedule. Sorry about that, you guys. I will guess that I would want to grab the... I guess we'll grab... Alright, we'll grab everything needed for Radbolt Tech. The rare we can stream? The rare we can stream indeed. I do... I don't know if people like weekend streams. I really don't know. And the reason why I, I ask that, or I, the reason why I say that, is because I used I used to do polls for streaming days, and it seems that more people want to see weekday streams than weekend streams. So you know, decided that might as well just have it be a uh, weekday stream thing. Have the weekends off, and that's kind of what it came to. But you know, making days up on the weekend should be fine, right? Alright, so the oxygen is flowing. I wouldn't mind getting the additional pipeline here coming out. And then I probably want to relocate the CO2 line. Just want to relocate that slightly. Wait, does that even do anything? Because if I pull out this line so that we can get this pump active, I would probably want to put it out into the suits or into the oxygen line, right? That probably means I have to go straight down and bridge across. Seems like Sunday's the day when not a lot of people stream for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. It seems that people, for whatever reason, are all like busy on Sunday, even though I thought Sunday was a day of rest, as they say in the business. Don't really know why that's a thing though. All right, so I think the oxygen's gonna be okay. We will get some of the pipelines built out right now. Go with any stream schedule, do whatever is best for you. Got your Razor Smash, appreciate that. Looks like I'm gonna need a temp bridge right there. Just so that we could move our uh, pipeline through.
Oh, okay. Ah, yes, I see what I could do there. So I do have to bop this, this, that, that. That should be fine. And then we're popping at the bottom. So that means I need to do this. That's probably going to be better long term. We're looking for your guides for Ernie. Struggle with mid and late game transitions. Take all the time you need on it. Oh, you know about that, huh? How thoughtless. I was making a... Uh, I'm making four videos. I'm making one that's going to be an overall pacing guide from what I consider early game, mid game, late game, and the things you need to try to do or achieve in terms of tech or resource acquisition. And then uh, we're doing in-depth videos for each stage, early game video, mid game video, and a late game video. And the guide's gonna be based off of uh, trying to get all three objectives on the printing pod. Hey man, good to hear that you're looking forward to that. Didn't know that there was people that already knew about that in the works. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's something where uh, I'm, I'm somewhat already working on and i say somewhat because i have the first script already written for the overall video but i'm not going to release anything until all four are done and then i think once i have all four done we will release them like somewhat day after day heard from the last stream have to be honest though i normally watch you at 2x speed so stream seems weird to me oh i feel you with that It'd be like that sometimes, man. 2x speed, it's, it's, it's a different life. It's what we call it in the business an acquired taste. Sometimes, man, you gotta watch it at 1x to enjoy it for everything it is. But at the same time, you know, they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Alright, so once we have this built, we could cut off this line, so this can become a dedicated uh, suit line. What's going on, Metrics? How are you? Alright, looks like the back is topping off more and more and more, which is good. Now, this is ready. So we could cut this line out, and then have this connect. Which means I could have this connect. And then this is going to start flowing out. Nice. Oh, I feel you with that. Yeah, man. You got to you gotta find a time where uh, the kids are busy or asleep. How old are the kids? There's a good strat out there. There's, there's a good strat, man, for the kids. Depending on how old they are. This is still ice cold, and we're still not melting anything. Should be fine, though. We should let the steam out. But look at the calorie stack up, man. That's a good feeling. Oxygen should be somewhat fine. We're technically sending some water from the uh, natural gas area as well. Oh, crap. I'm out of dirt. That's not the business. Oh, man. Uh, do we have dirt on the other asteroid? We should. Yeah, we do. We do. We just got to send some back. I need to find some arbor seeds, man. Holy heck. I need to get some arbor seeds so that we can start getting some more dirt. Four and two, one on the way. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. They're all really young still, so the strats don't work. <laughs> There's a strat, like, once your kids are old enough to walk around and run around the house, and you want them to, uh, and you start giving them errands, like cleaning up and stuff like that, and once they know what cleaning is and you don't like it, there's a strat where you go, hey kids, I'm gonna take a nap, uh, wake me up in 20 minutes, and we'll start cleaning the house. And your kids are gonna leave you alone. <laughs> They're going to be like, ah, shit, I don't want to clean the house, man. 
thug life. We're just not going to wake them up. Strats. Not not knowing that they played themselves. Alright, we're going to send the Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. We got to get some dirt back home. Alright, so now the oxygen generation should be a little bit more steady. This is just going to be feeding out into the outside. If anything, I might even have this, like, bridge on to the top line for the suits. Oh, he's in. Let's go. Alright, so we need to grab some dirt. Uh, there's no dirt up top. There's only dirt at the bottom. Never thought of that. Dude, mad strats. <laughs> you gotta have the strats, man. You know what it is. So we could go down this way. Oh, we're grabbing oil. Uh, we don't need oil anymore. We need dirt generation. So this is going to be dirt. And we have not a lot. That's fine. So we'll set up some of the mining jobs for them. So that they'll be able to start mining the dirt. Hi, how are you doing? What's the goal of today? Stream as long as possible because I'm feeling like I'm about to die. So, I am not feeling too great today. I'm probably going to wrap up stream early. I hate to say that, but it's it's what's going to probably happen, Jers. I'm feeling like I'm getting sick. I woke up with a headache. I feel like I'm sweating unnecessarily, even though it's uh, I have the AC on. I don't know. I think I, I got some. I don't know what it is. After stream, I'm, I'm going to take a COVID test. <laughs> oh, man. I don't feel great at all. I have no idea what happened. And I would want to say that it started feeling like this last night. Like late at night. I was like, man, I don't feel good. What's going on? I'll try to sleep it off. But yeah, I have an at-home COVID test I'll take later on. What happened two weeks ago? Nothing happens on the end of July that I remember. What happened on the beginning of August? Oh yeah, we got some recently. Uh, I don't know why we didn't order any, but I guess because we ordered a, a set of the test the first time, we got a recent shipment of uh, COVID tests for no reason. So I was like, yeah, you know, it's cool. Why not? Wait, unreachable toilet? Full bladder? Oh! <gasps> I deconstructed the water from the pipes? No! Not like this? They're gonna make a mess? Oh my god. Panic ensues, dude. Oh, shit. Guys, build the pipe. Build the pipe. Oh, he went to sleep with the full bladder. Oh, he's going to pee his pants. Mistakes were made. Oh, man. I'm not I'm not even double checking anymore. Making sure I don't deconstruct some pipelines accidentally. <laughs> I'm slipping, boys. We're not 100% here right now. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, smart. He did it inside of a suit. Got some strats. Oh, and you know what he's going to do? He's going to dump the water in here. Oh, strats, baby. Where the suit back on Clash. Good stuff, good stuff. Last week you talked about peeing in your dream. Dude, man, I'm just saying... That's a scary time. That's a scary time. That, that's, that's like 100% how you know. You're about to pee the bed. If you start peeing in the dreams, dude, it's it's a bad time. All right. Hey, oh my god. What, this is a bad time, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> Arisia Smogon. Thank you so much for the raid. You guys caught me while I'm sick. Thank you so much for the raid, though. And how was the Oni stream? I think I saw you on earlier. Yeah, you were. Playing some Oxygen Not Included. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys today? 
How was the Onis? What you guys take care of? And I'm very sorry, everyone. I'm not normally this kind of low energy. I think I got sick. I don't know how. I'm not feeling well. We're probably going to wrap up stream really early today. But thanks so much for the raid. <laughs> how was the streams today? Aresia, thank you so much. What you guys get done in the Onis? And uh, how was all the things? Appreciate the raid. If you guys don't know me, my name is Too Legit City. We play a lot of Oni over here. We're currently on a max difficulty uh, flipped asteroid run with the uh, magma everywhere. And if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to ask. Here's the proof that we're on max stress, frankly depressing. And we have a calorie modifier. And of course, it's for all the settings. Hey, you made a volcano tamer and you ended up teleporting a lot of magma. Oh, nice. Teleporting magma is cool. Did you use the uh, transpose glitch through the solids? Or is it an Asher waterfall? Either way, though, sounds like a fun time. Hopefully, uh, that magma didn't end up in a bad place and cause a lot of damage. You know, that's not usually a fun time. Why is oxygen so low in the suits? Uh, that's because... I had to cut all the oxygen from the suits for a while so that we could build an extra oxygen pump. And because of I, I had to also remove my Atmo sensor, all of my pumps stopped working, even the ones that were connected because of the automation. And then we were not getting oxygen for a while, so we're trying to catch up. I could probably put these to the back. It was a transpose glitch. We ended up stopping that being an issue, but then uh, a load of steam ended up teleporting and breaking things. Ooh, steam teleporting is a bad time. <laughs> but hey, sounds like a fun time. Hopefully, uh, you know, you had some good saves and didn't have to, uh, you know, <laughs> live with the mistakes. That's always uh, tough stuff, man. Exper ex ex or especially when you're experimenting. But hey, thank you so much for the raid, Aresia. Appreciate the support. So are you using the volcano for power or are you going to be using it for just uh, thermal energy? Because I just stored all my magma into here. And you know with the airflow tiles, we're really just keeping it there at, you know, stable temperatures. In a vacuum, of course. And we're kind of chilling with that. And we're probably going to add some more. I'm thinking about it. We might just breach space and start uh, doing uh, space scanning so that we could just expand on the side of the star map. There's a lot of question marks we need to check out. Yeah, using the door to push up in the solids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We at least have the magma under control on a previous save, so I will probably leave it alone for now. It's just a petroleum boiler. Oh, gotcha. Petroleum boilers are nice. They're, they tend to be somewhat, you know, big. <laughs> and a lot of the times, man, they're very much necessary. You want to pick up the extra 50% that you would otherwise lose. Not only that, it's powerless. Don't require duplicate operation. It's just a nice time. What's the plan for that magma? Uh, there's a way to actually tap into this. I should probably set that up soon. But the moment we get rid of this pool of magma, we could start moving up the vacuum room so that we could start building in this space. And then this becomes a fuel resource for a steam room. Basically, it's going to be something like this. We'll have, you know, steam turbine, three tiles, right? And then we'll have this be solidified like that. All the magma here would be in the tiles. And then we make a steam room setup. It's probably going to be something small like this because we're just going to want to fit in an aqua tuner and then on some of the bottom tiles we're going to have uh, metal tiles that's basically going to just connect like that of course this bottom part's going to be a vacuum still something like that and then we could just 
use the thermal energy directly from the magma. Now the upside about this is that the moment the magma solidifies, it's all on one tile. So we're still going to be able to transfer the thermal energy, no problem. So I'm not really too worried about that. But something like that, pull it for power. Is there any use for the Robo Miner? Yes. Uh, there is a geyser type that kind of requires you to use a Robo Miner if you want to automate it. That geyser is this one, Neobium. Neobium's a pain in the ass. This geyser, when I was messing around with it, it solidifies anything above 25 kilograms of uh, liquid. So anything above, I think it's 25 kilograms, I forget the exact amount. It solidifies into a diggable tile like this, and you have to dig it out. Now the problem with Neobium is that it has a viscosity of magma. So you tend to get like drops like this, 100 kilograms. And it's not going to want to keep spreading out. So you can see right here it's 185. And then it spills out, right? This stops spilling, so I can't mop this up. And not only that, it doesn't want to spill out. So if I solidify this by cooling it down, it becomes a diggable tile. So it sucks. And uh, what I wanted to make was a setup that solidifies it into a debris tile like this. That's sweepable. But yeah, it wasn't actually uh, something that I could consistently do. I was able to do it a couple times. And then they would randomly just solidify into a block, and I didn't find any consistency. Is there any use with uh, when it solidifies? Do you lose mass? Yes, you do. You lose 50% of the mass anytime you dig anything out. So if I dig this, I will only get 517 kilograms of obsidian. It's not a lot. But you lose half the mass every time you dig anything out. Which is the reason why I'm trying to use my meta refinery. Oh, I never connected the pipes. Feels bad, man. Uh, that's why uh, we're trying to use the meta refinery right here. With the hot liquids. And we're trying to melt the ice. If I were to mine out the ice, I would lose half of the mass, right? 400 kilograms would be gone. And a lot of the times, you're better off just melting it. So that's what we're doing. Melting it for more water. So after we do this side, we're probably going to melt this side as well. But I need the building space. That's the main thing. It's cold. That's nice. But I need room to plant more stuff. Build some nice bedrooms for the people. Well, what about that million tons of magma to solidify the solid? That's fine. We're going to extract the thermal energy. And we're not going to dig it out. So if that's what we're going to do, it doesn't really matter. Um, there is a difference between the conductivity of magma and igneous, though. Igneous is more conductive, but although that seems like it's going to be good, there's a weird thing that's not considered with thermal conductivity, and that's the calculations of solid to solid, solid to gas, solid to liquid. And it's weird. <laughs> The, the, the calculations of the equations for that has more to do with which way you should actually do the things, whether whether or not the conductivity is high or not. Because it doesn't matter if you're going to take the square root of something versus taking out the flat value. <laughs> like, some of the equations are wild, man. Like, if you ever dabble into the back door of this, man, it's it gets very... Uh, what, what's that word? when uh what am i looking for when something becomes not overly complicated but very scientific in a certain regard it starts to become um not a rabbit hole but like uh what, what do you call it when it's calculation heavy like what's that called oh we're starting to melt good stuff we need to melt some of the areas out, man. Let's go. But yeah, this game can be calculation heavy if you worry about efficiency. Because <laughs> it's like that. I feel like that's one thing no one really thinks about. And it's... Uh, and it's it's uh, it's interesting. 
Yeah, it's mathematically... It's not intensive, but it can be. Is that a word? Boondoggle? Hello? Kerfuffle, I know what that is. Boondoggle? I've never heard of that, man. That sounds like some... That sounds like a made-up word. Boondoggle. I gotta Google that, man. I'm gonna start using it, too. Boondoggle. It is North American. <laughs> Why is that... Why is... Is this a word we Americans made, dude? Wow, work or activity that is wasteful or pointless, but gives the appearance of having value. That's basically streaming, dude. Holy shit. Story of my life. Story of my life. <laughs> dude, what a word. How did you find that word, dude? Cthulhu? I've heard of kerfuffle, but boondoggle, that's pretty good. Man. Hydrate, guys, drink some water. I got to drink some water, man. I'm about to die. <sighs> All right, one of the things I wanted to do first today is we're going to tap into the magma. So let's go. So coming straight down into that. Oh, we're starving again? Oh, you're over here? How much dirt did we get back home? About a ton. You have no food over here? Alright, we're gonna send you back home. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. We'll have them eat at home, that's fine. Did he teleport? There it is. So he has food again. Once he catches his breath, he'll stop dying. It's one of those weird words I'd like to work in whenever I can. That's true, man. I try to do that as well. Anytime there's a word that I like how it's... Oh, okay. So we did this part. All right. So we can see the viscosity of the magma dripping like honey. All right, so once we get to this, I want a safety save. And we'll safety save as number four. And then what we want to do is we have magma here. We're going to open the door. So the thing about this is that our gas lock is technically broken. So we're going to try to push in the gas lock by spilling in the magma. All right, so that happens. And it should try to spill in. There we go. And once we spill in and we get the infinite spill, we need to close the door. That's going to crush the gas. But that doesn't matter because it doesn't matter how much gas we actually have on the tile. And then we have infinite spill. All right. So this could spill back in. We got the spill animation. It's funny how none of the value actually moves. Wow, you guys see this? None of the magma values change. All the numbers are, ident are identical. So it's literally teleporting from here to here. Because these values don't change. That's kind of weird to watch, man. I'm not going to lie. 240. It doesn't move even though we're spilling. 17. Oh, oh, oh. This moves. The magma spilled down. Feels bad. This becomes 1720 now. 235, 1132. This one is starting to fluctuate here. I want to build teleporters. It's probably going to be a mod for that. That's what I'm saying. I want to build teleporters to the other asteroids. I feel like... I feel like they need to make that the dark matter energy I was talking about. <laughs> They need to make that the dark matter energy I was talking about, man. I 
I could probably do that, right? Uh... So uh, there, there was a theory, or not a theory, a DLC potential I wanted to make where they allowed you to build something around the temporal tear to harvest the dark matter energy so that you could start getting a rare resource that you would only get after opening the tear and then use that to make the teleporters because that makes sense. You're harvesting a resource from something that teleports you outside of your current universe. So this allows you to harness that and teleport you from planet to planet. I'm just saying, man, that, that would be in a point of the game where having teleporters wouldn't be too broken. Buildable neutronium stuff. Buildable neutronium could be kind of bad. I do see some benefits of having it, though. I'm kind of mad that no one's building this. <laughs> what are you guys doing, dude? Why is no one building this max priority? Man, this is about to solidify. Ah, right, we're gonna have to close the door again. It feels bad, man. Did you read the game lore? Yes, back in the day. That was how... Well, that's technically spoilers. Yes, we had the ability to build Neutronium. <laughs> We had the ability to build Neutronium, man. But, uh, you know... We, sh we shouldn't have, because we saw what happened. <laughs> we saw what happened, man. Some people have stupid ideas. And I'm not gonna lie, some of the things that happen in the game lore come straight out of sci-fi science fiction. Like, oh, the robots took over, so we gotta... And, and they harvest power from the sun, right? So we must block out the sun, and then we will recontrol the planet from the robots. And it was like some wild sci-fi stuff, man. I was like, man. <laughs> That's crazy stuff, man. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but that technically hasn't really have to do with the lore that much. It kind of is tied to it, though. But yeah. Matrix Scorch the Skies? Yo, yeah, man. It'd be like that sometimes. Now, that's not what happened in this game, though. This game is, is a lot different. But we do something similar. <laughs> we, 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 we abuse the shit out of the Neutronium. And uh, even to this day, man, we can't break it. Nice. Crush the gas and allow it to spill. Sometimes you just gotta maintain the vacuum. So we're gonna allow this to spill. Learning the player role in through the role made me sad. Oh, feels bad. Feels bad, man. But that's the saying, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. There's so the lore is uh I'm make, I'm gonna make a video about that as well. I should. A, a, a video that explains the lore of the game. The mini storylines that they had. Man, we barely spilled any lava. But I guess it's fine. Uh hmm. I do want to continue doing this. But I feel like I need I'm running out of gas. I guess it's fine. Auto bottle on, start spilling the magma. I don't know if there's a video like that. I think the problem with a video like that is that uh, there's no animation for it to look good. So 
like I could I could voice over the story, but you just wouldn't see the scenes of it, which would make it kind of tough to do. Because a lot of it has to do with imagining how the interactions are between the two lead scientists and the Gravitas team and the interactions between like, oh, yeah, you'll need an animator. And I feel like I don't know if Oni's big enough to have uh, channels try to do that. I discovered something I didn't know the other day. It was the first in a long time. You can bury materials in undug tiles using automatic dispenser. Oh, you mean uh, having your dispenser face a solid tile? Oh, that's pretty cool. I see a mind fury. <laughs> I wonder if that's uh, potentially useful for reducing FPS lag. That's going to come down to how the game calculates buried objects temperature. Because technically, if you have something that you're never going to use, like abyssalite, and you mine out the biomes, right? And you have a lot of abyssalite, you could technically try to bury the abyssalite inside the tiles to reduce calculations. That could be a thing, so that you have uh, more FPS. But there's probably going to be a lot of applications for that. That's how you make abyssalite melters. Only way to do it, man. Alright, so we're going to have basically a couple of uh, duplicates pitcher pump. I probably deconstruct this to put another pitcher pump right here. And then we're going to try to just start emptying out the magma from this pool. We gotta start. Uh, I could also start mining this out. I should just do it like that. One at a time. I don't want to overextend. So guys, this tile right here, the Abyssalite, started off at 30 degrees. Right now we heated it up to 200. Why do people still think that Abyssalite cannot increase or decrease in temperature? It actually in interacts with the environment, no problem. This is still pretty cold. I have nothing running, right? That I should have off. Like water or something. Just, just trying to make sure. So I think oxygen is a little bit healthier now. The suits are a little bit better. I might want to get some more suits though. Hot abyss light will boil lots of water. 100%. Natural tile tower. I see you guys over there. All right, so we're trying to spill more magma in. So that we could just add in some more magma into there. And when you reload, it makes the tower interesting. So we could do this double pitcher pump just to mine out or uh, get as much of the magma out as possible. Oh, stepping in the magma is mad hot. I think people used to get it past flipped asteroids. Wait, what? Get what past flipped asteroids? What are they doing? Nice, double picture pump. We're gonna be able to uh, take out more of the magma now. Oh man. It's gonna make a tower natural tiles through the magma. Oh, oh that's some cheese strats, man. The unnecessary stuff.
All right, so technically, I want to mine it off here. Because I don't want any of the magma to land on the bottom of yours. <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing that could happen right now. Because that technically could melt a lot of things. All right, so we're just going to go through the magma. Uh, let's see. I wouldn't mind cooling down the base, but it's not that warm. How much wart seeds do I have? I only have one left. It feels bad, man. Hmm. Oh, we're out of dirt again. Oh, feels bad. I need to start getting dirt generation. We have a little bit right there. I need arbitraries. So I think what we'll have to do right now is just start off a little bit of uh, through the top of the map setups. So we'll mind probably these two and then we'll mine both of those. And then we'll have to put a door here. I'll probably make a proper entryway into this, but we need to just get through the top. I see you over there, Leo Far. I just need dirt, dude. So that my Dracos don't die. Feels bad, man. I could uh, wild plant the meal wood, but I would have to double up my values. I don't want to do that. Alright, so we're going to make a telescope setup. I don't know if I have glass. 610. I can make three solar panels. That's not bad. We have 35k lux. 30k lux. That's not a lot. But we could just use that. Get a, a little bit of the lux value to start powering my telescope. We're probably just going to use a regular one with suits. Because I don't want to bring out an O2 line. But we'll probably bring out an O2 line. Oh yeah, this is a vacuum. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh shit, it's a double vacuum. So there's no loss. <laughs> there's no loss anywhere. Okay. I'll still put a door. Why not? Might as well have a door. End result, arbor farming is really good for food. You get dirt, mealwood, sages, CO2 for slicksters. You get a lot, dude, yeah. A lot of the times, arbor tree is a good loop. It's a good loop. You could also make uh, arbor into ethanol for petroleum, too. There's a lot of good things. Get the polluted dirt. That's going to be for puff ranching because polluted dirt equals polluted oxygen. Convert that to dirt. Feed that to the, the hatches. Dude, there's so many options, man. It's pretty good. Oh, we have a pip. Yo, man, we gotta take these guys out. We gotta put them in the pip jail. Gotta put them in the pip jail. Economy calculator, man. I see you over there. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, they're rub, but there's no fertilizer. Man, I need more farmers, man. Or another cook. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to need a couple of those guys to help us out. Magma spilling down. We got that in. All right. So the thing about having solar panels is that we're not really generating a lot of uh, power. And we need to store the power. And I have nothing but a vacuum in the area. So that means I'm going to have a long power line. Uh, I don't want to have a long power line. Because uh, it's like my batteries are going to break themselves, right? If I don't have them in a decent environment. Hmm. How much power is the telescope? Can I just have a solar panel with no batteries? 380. Battery module. Ooh, that's true. We could do that. That is true. 
That's a good strat. That's a pretty good strat. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that for now. So let me put the rocket platform five right there. We could take the obsidian that's super hot. Okay, Kun, what's good? How are you? I see you over there. Do I even have the tech for battery module? I do. Okay, cool. And then we'll have this be our databank rocket, saving that spot for Cthulhu. And then we'll build some, uh, you know, some solar panels connect to that. What's going on, Kun? How are you doing today? Happy Tuesdays. Nice. Yo, man, you, you bowl, dude. Bowling is one of those things that I had a bad time as a kid. <laughs> and of course, that meant that I was not, a, you know, I never did it again. <laughs> so, so bowling, right? That shit sucked. <laughs> Doing the bowling as a kid, man, that was not a fun time. Oh, the magma stacking up. That's not bad. Hello there. What's going on, Spellmore? As a kid, I I uh, slipped on the bowling lanes. Not only that, I never really properly learned how to bowl. And... Dude, I don't know, man. We just didn't do a lot of bowling growing up. How you doing, Spellmore? How's the days today? How is the Tuesdays? Oh, that pushed it in? Oh, that's amazing. So the gas didn't come out. It just pushed in. That's actually really good for me. I have no idea what that means, but I will believe you when you say that. Okay, good. Hoping you, you're having a fun time bowling, though. Do you play with the, the barriers up? <laughs> I gotta play with the barriers up, man, because I'm bad at the game. Sometimes gotta have the bumpers, man. Ooh, spiffy overalls. I'll take that. No barriers. I see you, man. Do you do you straight shot or do you bowl with a spin like a pro? I stra I straight shot, man. Only way to do it. I can't put the spin on the ball. It never really works the way I need it to. The stuff is tough, man. going on Rambo how are you I see you over there mr. Rambo hope you're doing well today food is the cave oh <gasps> no oh come on food has decayed oh man Okay, so we need to immediately get out the polluted oxygen before it rots my entire food storage. So the first things first. Uh, I could pull out the polluted dirt, that's fine. Sweeping everything back out and back in is a pain. I might be able to just pump out the gas. Yo, man. The vacuum means no heat transfer, though. Which means my aqua tuner has less uptime. That's the reason why I do it. 
That's the honestly the reason why I do it like that. Okay, so we gotta fix that real quick. Uh, uh I could easily do a small setup, I think. To make a vacuum and pump it out. And then I need to do a quick setup. Do we have anything in here? Sucrose. Okay, let me deconstruct this on a max priority. Where are my builders at? Am I building anything? This? That, that should be low priority and it's far away. Is this reachable? Two tiles. Yeah, it's reachable. Alright, so now I need to build a bin here. Not out of the obsidian. What the heck? Make that out of granite. Lurk, adios. Have a good one, Spellmore. This is reachable, right? Pollutant exposure. All right, so we need these tiles. We're going to deconstruct these. And then we're going to need this. I probably need a tile here. And that's going to mean that I need a tile. Here. Which means I need this here. And then that's probably going to be oil. This is going to be polluted dirt. So we're going to pull that out. And then that's going to be what causes it. Uncheck that deconstructs. We need this deconstruct. We need the bottom emptier ASAP. And then this needs to be oil. Is the rod in there too? Oh, you're right. The rot is inside. Thank you for that. Alright, where's my oil? Where's my oil? Needs to happen now. Rambo MVP. There we go. Drop oil. Perfect. Uh, this needs to be built now. Actually, I technically don't need that. Technically, that's all I need. And then we have power right here. Alright, so now we can put the kitchen back. How come no one's doing this? <laughs> How come no one's doing this, man? Come on, Scarlet Man. Stop taking a dump. My food's not rotting or anything. Priority 9. Alright, let's look at my priorities. Who are my builders? Operating, peer builder, sleeping. Alright, we're gonna slow down on the op- Damn, this guy is maxed out. No, he has to be an operator then. Damn, can we get some help?
All right, so the polluted oxygen spreads, and we're going to pump it up. And because my dupes are lazy, I have to do that. Oh, they're not lazy. It's a priority thing. Some people are sleeping. Some people don't want to help. Silent one looks hungry, man. But our food's about to die, so I need to do this sooner than later. Alright, and we're recreating a vacuum. Should be fast. Small area. Nice. Alright, this is done. Remove that. Remove that. High pressure vent. Gas pump, no contents. Alright, we're ready. Sweep it all. Well, I want to sweep this top. Whoa, whoa. Stop bringing crude oil here. What in the heck? Who's doing that, man? Jesus Christ. Alright, so it's a vacuum, but I need to make sure that the uh, backside sealed off. No more pollutant exposure. Uh, copy, paste. We have sleet wheat grain we could start cooking with as well. Technically, that could be the emergency food. Alright, so it's it's cleaned up now. Shouldn't be that bad. So we could allow the dupes to do what they need to do. We're still filling up this with the magma. The mixed gases in there is perfectly fine, to be honest. So we just got to get rid of this tile. Technically, it should push out to the left. It should. So I'm going to risk it. Because if it doesn't, it pushes up into the corner. That's kind of bad. Otherwise, though, I think we're doing all right. We're out of dirt, though. That's the only thing that's really bad. The glossy babies are going to die again. The teleporter is ready, though. I guess we could send Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow back. And we'll start setting them some food, some grub for preserves. Oh, he's already hungry, man. That better not be the case. So we can mine that, get some dirt. Dirt gets dropped off, and then we'll get to here. And then we'll be able to mine a lot of the sand and get some of the dirt right there. That should be a good amount. Oh, he's sleeping. What a guy. Alright, we're good. The vacuum is there. I'm gonna leave this here, just in case this rots again. As that's something we're worried about. We should never have something rotten here, though. As it's always gonna be cooked food. Unless I'm moving all my cooked food in at the same time. It's usually not something we have to worry about. Feels bad, man, that we did break that. Okay, back to here. Uh, battery module. And then let's have this be flat. And then we're going to get... Because I don't want oxygen here. Because I don't want to build a pipeline. We're just going to very temporarily just build a telescope. And then we'll just power that. And then we will have our solar panel here. That's made out of glass. I need to have that there due to ladders like that. And then I want a third one. That doesn't work out that way, right? 
can I stack it like this? Nah. So, one tile space. That should be fine. Because we're going to have space for three solar panels. Keep them close. Keep at the battery module. And then, uh, this should be far enough away that it shouldn't heat up the uh, solar panel when I start doing carbon dioxide liftoffs. We'll see, though. We might have to move this to the left a couple tiles. Either way, I think it's going to be fine. And then once we're ready, we'll attach all that in, go to here, and then we'll give someone astronomy. It's a skill that we just need to pass out. Back to this side. How's he doing? Is he mining yet? Ah, oh, that's because he's out of dirt. Now he's just grabbing dirt, sending it back home. Good stuff. We are sitting at 800 kilograms. We're going to eventually run out of dirt here, though. That's the sad thing. There's no way we don't run out of dirt. So, hoping that we could scan somewhere to give us Arbor Seeds. If we get Arbor Seeds, we're going to be great. I don't think we have that right now, right? Nope. And then... We could very easily use this as a minor wire. I think that's what will happen. We use a minor wire due to the fact that it's not a lot of uh, power that's going to be here. Do the other spots have mud? I do not have mud anywhere, actually. No mud anywhere, sadly. We could make one grub fruit, because why not? And then how much frost buns do we have? We can make six of these. Oh, look at that. We melted the area. Not bad. Uh, push it up into here. Start melting that. We have ice. I'll take the nutrient bars. No mud on the other side, though. At least not that I see any. So the pipelines are doing great. What they wouldn't mind is an overflow setup. The breathability is great though, right? Yeah, it's very breathable. Except for inside here. My oxygen's at... Okay, it's going down. I'm consuming more than my cool steam vent's able to produce. Which might mean that I might have to tap into this area. Oh, he needs food. Okay, we'll send him something. We'll send them grub fruit preserves. Ooh, fresh stuff. Is that all we have? Can I click this like this? Damn, 59,000. That's way too much. All right, we'll send them the 7,000. And then that goes into here. Someone send it to him now before he dies. Oh man, we have, they're repairing suits right now. Nice. Okay, so he should have food on the other side now. Without worrying about it too much. Oh, he's running to it. He's running to it. He knows. He knows. There it is. So the grub fruit preserve lasts with 32 cycles because they're preserves, right? They're already like pickled. So that's going to be pretty good for us. He'll be able to chill out here for a while. All right, so we need the dirt. What other ways to generate dirt do we have? We could generate dirt by... Oh, shovels give you half the mass. Feels bad, man. Mud, composting, pips. I don't have thimble reed. I don't have... Oh, man, thimble reed. That would be actually really good, too, I guess. Get a lot of cuddle pips. I wouldn't mind doing that, actually. 
That'd probably be a pretty good strat. Having two different dig patterns should be pretty good, but we really just want the dirt. It's not bad, it's not bad. The magma spill is doing its thing. Pushing in the gas lock. Let's go. Hello, too legit and chat. What's going on, Black Luck? How are you today? Alright, we'll just close the door for now. That solidified pretty fast. Good thing we closed the door pretty quickly. Got to stack up the magma mass. Compost extra seeds. I guess we can. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, I think the easiest way to do this would be to build a bin and selecting mealwood seeds first. I don't want to click on every seed and click compost. So we're going to build a bin and then we're going to store mealwood in that. And then we'll compost all the seeds at once. Dude, you have food here, man. What are you talking about? That shit is fresh. This guy still hasn't gotten slime lung. <laughs> Feels bad. And he's napping. That's fine. As long as we're able to send dirt back home. Two tons. It's not bad. We're able to uh, feed the meal one if my uh, dupes will fertilize it. There is one harvest ready plant, so the, the dragos can eat that if they need to. Dude, that guy needs to stop starving. Dude, well, thanks. Looks like the flubbed asteroids come along nicely. Yeah, it's, it's doing pretty good. We're going to be getting into space soon. We're uh, attempting to slowly pitcher pump all the rest of the magma from the bottom mining out some of this as well so that the magma spills in a little bit easier but yeah just trying to uh make some progress we're going to be trying to melt out the ice asteroid right here or asteroid ice biome and then we'll expand into there with some of the farms we'll get living arrangements and then we'll move over to melt this side once this is melted we could do a proper power generator room with a uh, metal refinery set up. Not metal refinery. Uh, power control station. So we get more power. So that we use less of the natural gas. You always want to be, uh, you know. A little bit more on the power positive side. But yeah, making good progress. Making good progress indeed. Ooh, we might have extra water from the bathrooms. It's never a bad thing. All right, so it might be time for me to move that to here. So that we could melt more of the ice. And then we'll probably want to mine out the wolframite and granite. As that's never going to melt. Never going to melt. And then this is going to be Seeds Mealwood. If they could put all that there, that'd be amazing. Composting Mealwood Seeds is going to be a pain, though. My dupe is sleeping. Feels bad. Alright, alright. Radiation, 10 rads. Heating rads, okay. 
I guess they were outside for a while. Because the rads are pretty heavy, right? Yeah, 218 instead of the 125 normal. A little bit more rads than they're used to. Hopefully that doesn't affect this guy by too much. Oh, this decayed? Without getting swept into here? I am impressed. Oh, that's probably because of this, right? I gotta lower this down to priority 7. So that they actually do the food first. Oh man, I almost debated myself. This is going to be the polluted dirt. Might as well put uh, the rock piles as well. Priority six. Whoa, look at this guy. He's itching. Oh, he has minor radiation sickness. Oh, did they make it so that... Yeah, this is my first time with the max slider. So it looks like the threshold for minor and major sickness has gone down. That's kind of scary. That kind of sucks too. Someone gifted me a sub last time I was here, but I just noticed it feels bad. Yo man, you can thank up next time. You could always just thank up next time. But yeah, man, got a sub. You two are legit. I think it tells you if you hover to the top right. This guy needs to stop lying to me, man. He has food. He just never gets there in time. So my person farming. Okay, so we're going to go back to the priorities. And I forced another person to cook. His name was Clash. We're going to have him become his pure farmer again. Because my farming is starting to slack. So we're going to push him back to farming. So he will cook on a minor tab. Dude, Silent One's supposed to cook too. Oh, Silent One probably don't have the skill. Oh, we made him cook. Not because he could. Yeah. So if Silent One don't cook, he does rocketry. Why do we make him cook, though? He's not a cook. And he can't help out. Yeah, no cooking, man. Feels bad, Silent One. Should be alright, should be alright. So he's doing his thing, has a little bit of food left. Still has to mine, still has to get the polluted or get the dirt out. We have 3.8. That's not a lot though. For the mule wood. So I guess we'll keep him there for a minute. Hey, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. You found it, man. Dude, this guy's getting radiation sickness. Oh, major radiation sickness? Oh my god. Alright, so he cannot actually go outside anymore. He actually is not allowed to go outside anymore. Alright, so this means that... I need to start using a door right here. He's gonna grow another leg or something. Yo, man, you know what's worse? He's gonna grow a third brain. He's gonna start killing himself a lot more. He's gonna get stranded on an island. He's gonna stay outside and idle in the radiation. The dupes, man. They're dangerous. 
We have food, dude. What do you mean? Oh, he's radiation vomiting. Yep, that's gonna happen. He was not supposed to get major sickness this fast. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Alright, so we need to stop him from going outside, which is why we need this door. Cooking dupes and radiation. Yo, man, that, that, that was accidental. I didn't know that they get cooked in like 10 minutes. It wasn't a lot of radiation, man. I'm just saying. That airlock is not left right operable, it's north south. So although I want to do that there, I don't know if it works. <laughs> it's really what it is. So he's not going to be able to leave because he's sick. And then this guy keeps starving. Come on, man. Just go eat. How do you go outside lead suit? I might have to make some lead suit or rat pills. It should work normally even in this case. It should. But I'm not sure if it actually does. Alright, we're sending this guy home, man. He's struggling over here. Come on, buddy. It's time to go home. More food as the cave, man. Dude, the grub fruits. Surf and turf. I see you, man. I have no fish, though, at the moment. I'll be honest, I never tested that either. Yep. I do know that in certain circumstances, the doors don't work. If you do something like this. If you have a room like this, and then you have a ladder like this, and then you have airlocks like this, this does not help. You actually have to lock the door. Uh, you have to hit the lock button. If you have it not allowed permission, they could go diagonally. It's stupid, but the game allows them to open the door still. So because of that, because I know that works like that, I didn't want to, you know, just do that, hoping that it worked. Oh, it comes out again. Just need to make sure nothing in the vacuum breaks as we're spilling out more magma for the setup. And close the door. the magma we'll let him do what they need to do so without my guy going outside they're not building the uh, radiation I guess we have Scarlet Man this only guy that's sick can you explain what you're doing with the magma I am having the magma spill into a infinite spill storage if you know what infinite spill is in this game cohesion this is a uh, liquid storage design that never breaks, and we're storing all the magma into the one tile. 
So the problem with magma is that it solidifies at 1409. And that's why I have to close the door. Because this tile cools down because of the abyssalite. The abyssalite at the bottom and the insulated tile above it. Um, even though they're insulated and abyssalite, they're lowering the temperature of everything. So to give you an idea, look at my gas. It's only at 249 degrees, even though it's touching a million point seven million kilograms of 1459 degrees magma this oxygen isn't boiling and that's because it's also touching the manual airlock and of course this abyssalite this abyssalite started at 30 degrees and it's warming up still this insulated tile started at uh 30 degrees as well but it's also warming up both of them are so you can see my polluted oxygen is fluctuating down and then spikes up. It's weird, man. But what we're doing is we're just storing magma into the one tile storage. Now you might be wondering, why am I using a pitcher pump? Um, I didn't want to build another one of these builds at the bottom. I could have though, and just emptied it out. If you made that an airflow tile, would it help? I thought I had when you mentioned vacuum. Do atmospheres contain natural gas? No, they do not. There is no natural suits. Oh, are you talking about the flatulent trait? Black luck? Is that what you're talking about? Let me know. Airflow tile where? So you cannot put an airflow tile here. That's not possible. As you run into the issue that this gas moves to the right and then it moves down and then it breaks the vacuum so this could never be an airflow tile this one could be an airflow tile theoretically this is actually fine i just didn't want to chance it yes flatulent trait i haven't tested it but apparently it was patched i don't know which patch it was but I remember someone saying that it was patched recently. So because of that, I want to say that it's patched. But I'm not 100% sure. And it should be patched to benefit us, meaning that if you have a flatulent dude, it should not break the suits anymore. Theoretically, theoretically. Dude, ever since I took away uh, Scarlet Man's ability to go outside where no one's building the freaking solar panels, man. Feels bad. Nice. Good stuff, Ace Cow. Gotta get that spawn running. The spawn is the name of the game. Oh, I gotta cut this line. So that I could just start melting all the water into this area. Oh man, it's tough. <laughs> you gotta have suits, man. Gotta have the suits. That way you don't have to keep catching the breath. All right, so we're just pitcher pumping magma right now, slowly, surely, this should be going down. Hmm. I could try to solidify that, but I wouldn't want to mine out the obsidian. And then I could start tapping into this mag over here. And then have it mined here, so it goes straight down. That wouldn't be too bad. I would want it to be on these tiles though. So it goes out into this pocket. And then potentially we're going to want to go to the right. Let me move this up. Because I might want to just mine into the obsidian in general. 
because we're in a vacuum, I could walk on the hot surface and it doesn't bother me. It's only if I'm submerged in the magma that it starts to affect the duplicates. Okay, so we have power here. I feel like whoever goes outside is going to get wrecked. Alright, man. We're going to hit him with the strats. It's time to hit him with the strats, man. Hopefully no one gets stuck in the plastic. That'd be kind of bad. If it will touch the insulated tile, the water might heat up. No, it won't. It won't. The insulated tile will need constant... Uh, the insulated tile requires constant contact for at least 10 cycles for it to go up maybe 100 degrees. And then it's going to take time to have that constantly go up against the water. But the water is going to be cooling it down from the inside. So it's, it's, I mean, if you have regular tiles, you might worry about that, but not insulated. That's, that's the real purpose of insulated, having something like that. Dude, we're... I think I'm able to keep this open. And they're just able to just keep pumping fast enough. My mom was able to put a pitcher pump here. Hey, Mr. Live Action Pixel. What's good, man? How are you? Dude, I'm feeling sick, man. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to wrap up stream soon. I might just go lay down. <laughs> Stay hydrated, guys. Drink some water. Ugh. Guys, stay hydrated, man. Made it to a stream. How's it going? What's going on, non barian I am uh, not in a... Uh, I woke up with a headache today. Not feeling too good. I'm going to take a COVID test after stream because I don't know like what's going on. So, uh, we're not feeling too hot, man. Not feeling too hot. Nice and chill. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mr. Live Action Pixel. Did you, I saw you checking out the new uh, Cult of the Lamb game. Everyone's on that, man. The hype is real. Is it that good? Cult of the Lamb. Yep. Playing some of the Cult of the Lamb. How is that, Mr. Live Action Pixel? Everyone's on that. It, it, it's one of those things where because everyone's playing it, I'm not going to play it. Not because I want to, of uh, like, not be part of the crowd. It's more so that it's so saturated right now, man. Like everyone and their mothers is, is is streaming that game to the point where it's like, yeah, man, I I don't want to I don't want to play that because <laughs> because Twitch is a numbers game, right? Hundred percent. And if you don't hit the numbers. It, it starts to reflect and it's like, oh, that's a bad time. So it's like, if you want to, I feel like if I want to benefit from playing that game, I have to wait till the hype dies down a little bit. Or the people, the big streamers stop playing it. That's what I feel like. Appreciate the love though, you guys. It seems pretty fun. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. It seems like a, a mix of games. I'm also looking at Dinkum. Dinkum looks pretty cool. Because Dinkum is... Uh, it feels like a bigger Animal Crossing. With better multiplayer. <laughs> I don't know, man. It seems pretty cool so far. I'm feeling the Dinkum, but I haven't scooped that up either. My wife is playing Dinkum. A Rambo, I see you over there. Are you gonna... Weren't you the one that told me that... You got all the drinks already? Or was that silent one? I feel with that live extra pixel. Yeah, it's there's there's a little bit of method to the madness. So because of that, 
I I want to make sure that, you know, it doesn't go too bad. Because it's like, a lot of the times, the numbers bounce around. And it's reflective of what you're doing. 100%. And then it's a lot of the times it's, you know, you don't want to think too much about it. And it starts becoming a thing where it's like, well, I can't just ignore it. Things like that. Dude, why does the grub fruit keep rotting? Are my dupes not sweeping here, man? Allow manual use. Priority eight. Grub fruit. Weird. Uh, seems pretty fun. It does. It does. I'm looking into it, man. I don't know anything about it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It's like Stardew. Have you uh, seen Peglin? I have been enjoying that game. I've never heard of Peglin, actually. Stardew and Animal Crossing. Yep, yep. That's what I hear, man. What's Peglin? I've never heard of Peglin's game. Technically, I could just get rid of this. And build the picture up a little bit higher. Oh! I should not do this. I just realized that. Oh, I'm so lucky that I didn't actually have anyone go in. Dude, I didn't realize what I was doing. Freaking... If they would have dropped... Plastic into the magma... We would have had sour gas. Oh, I forgot about that. What's up, Dino Dawn? Yeah, it's magma, baby. You know, magma storage. 1.7 million kilograms. Ain't no thing. It's just the normal stuff. Roguelike Pachinko? How does that work? So it's pure RNG? That sounds kind of wild. You shoot a ball and you aim it? Okay. Wait, so is it like Bubble Bobble? Wait, hold up. This is not getting sand? And because it's not getting sand, my bathrooms are stacked? Oh, what a motherfucking travesty. Am I out of sand? Hold up, hold up. Am I out of sand? I have sand! I'm so confused right now. How, how are my dupes just not doing anything? People are just peeing their pants. Like, what's going on here, man? How come my dupes don't want to work? Slay the Spire plus Peggle. Interesting. Man, what the hell's going on? Is it because everyone's doing this? Alright. No more, dude. No more magma spills. Why didn't you want to build the plastic? If my dupes are traveling and they're walking up and they decide that they no longer want to build anymore or supply the plastic, they're going to drop the plastic and because it's only going to be 100 kilograms, it's going to reach contact with the hot obsidian or fall into the magma and then it's going to flash into sour gas. Right? And then that is going to wreck my design. Uh, we're going to be checking out Played Up, Sweet Transit, uh, Noble Fates, and uh, those are the three titles that I'm going to eventually going to be checking out. But yeah, I will say those three. Sometimes you just want to make this a safe environment, you know? 
A little bit of uh, heat goes a long way, as they say in the business. Whoa, what? The radiation is that strong? Jesus Christ. Played upstream when? Not sure. Not sure. What do you mean? It's the opposite, man. The sun is a deadly laser. Yeah, man. Ultraviolet rays, dude. That shit is ultra. Gotta watch out for that. Alright, there we go. We're seething all the water. There we go, there we go. Alright, let's bop one of the reservoirs so that we could have clean water that has 9 million germs in it. Strats. Hi, you're using the hot steam vent in this run? I haven't found one yet. I am using a cool steam vent. Not a hot steam vent yet, though. I don't have one of those. We have hot polluted oxygen, cool steam, natural gas, liquid sulfur. Cool steam, chlorine, hydrogen, and infectious polluted oxygen. Oh, we have a frozen core? Oh shit, this is a frozen core. Oh, that's even more water, dude. That's, a, that's awesome. Yeah, I actually had that, but I was worried about having the plastic fall into this room, creating a, a gas. Because I was worried about that, breaking my vacuum. I didn't want to do that. I see you. I see you over there, Leniscus. Laser's too strong, dude. Laser is too strong. All right, so we're getting everything fertilized, I believe. Should be fine. My one cook handling its business, making sure we have vacuums. Nice. So technically, I want to mine these tiles. Even insulated tiles would help a little. They would. They would. I could actually do that, I suppose. Use some insulated tiles for that. Why not? Mafic just melts into more magma. Yep. Don't need to worry about it. Can't you just yellow priority the plastic tiles to prevent them from dropping it? Uh, I would have to red alert. I would have to red alert. Because I believe technically they do not ignore starvation when they're uh, yellow alerted. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. We need them to ignore starvation and schedules and bathrooms. And then once that's ignored, then it's going to be okay. Yeah, because the food's a big thing. If they don't eat in one cycle, a lot of the times they starve. Starving happens when you're below 1,000, and then they go through 2,000 calories a day, and they hover around 3,000. So if they go a day without eating, they might starve, drop the plastic, and it might be bad news from there. But, you know, who knows, right? Who really knows? Oh shit, this guy's getting radiation sickness. Alright, who are you? Alright, Mr. Notorious B.I.G. It's time to reduce access. And we could allow Scarlet Man back out. Scarlet Man... How is his rat? 2.88! Alright, he's peed out a lot of the rads. Good stuff. So it looks like he's okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. You know what I wish you could do? 
I wish you could put ceiling lights. Not going top down, but sticking along the side of a wall. So I want it to stick out this way, but then shine out that way. I wish that was possible, man. I would be so efficient. Because it's like, this has some pretty nice distance in how much it could shine. Imagine having that horizontal, man. That'd be so good. I would love to have that. Sadly, the game does not allow that. Because I could technically deconstruct this tile, move the loader into here, and put the light going out that way. Welcome back, Spellmore. There's probably a mod for that. That'd be kind of OP, man. Not gonna lie. That'd be kind of OP. It doesn't allow you to turn the light a certain way. Oh, dude, build supply cook. This guy is good, but he's anemic. On max difficulty, that might actually kill him. Lights, uh, the lamps are radially versus the ceiling lights are directional. So not really comparable. There are two different effects. So the lamp tries to make a circle, but the ceiling light makes a triangle. Mama's the best. Dude, I don't want this, man. The anemic might actually ruin us. So we're just gonna take the pip eggs. So let me show you what I mean. The lamp is a circle, so it shines in all directions. The problem with this is that it's two tiles. The ceiling light's one tile, but you can see that it goes uh, around the same size. I just wish we could put it so that we change the direction of where the light goes. I could see a world where they don't want it to be upside down lights, but horizontal lights I feel like should be a thing. Guys, I think we're gonna wrap up right here. I'm gonna go take my COVID test and go lay down. But, uh, guys, sorry about the short stream today. I don't know. I feel, I feel sick, man. I feel, I woke up with a headache and I don't know what's going on. I ate oatmeal and had coffee like I normally did in the morning. And it's, I feel like I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm, we're just going to get some rest in. Um, so heads up for the future. So we're going to wrap up today's stream.